I'm in a great mood. I just got engaged. Woo! That's right, ladies. Daddy Wiener. Yeah. I trapped a man. I'm excited. I got a good guy, too. He's got a job. I'm no longer dating men that beat me. Woohoo! No more black eyes at the comedy show. I did that joke once, my friend's like, uh, did you say black guys or black eyes? I'm like, it's the same joke. <laughs> no. I, got, I got a really good guy, I'm so excited about that. I was single for a really long time and it was horrible. Some of you ladies know I dated all sorts of guys. I dated Middle Eastern guys. Oh my God, hairiest guys in the world, right? I dated a Middle Eastern guy, his happy trail went all the way up his neck. <laughs> around his back, <laughs> down his legs, into the next room. I think that's why Middle Eastern women go, la, 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 because they're choking on a hairball. <laughs> Don't kiss those guys. <laughs> Middle Eastern women are the most beautiful women in the world. Oh my God, they're so beautiful, but they cover up from head to toe. A lot of women we judge this country like, oh my God, they're covered up from head to toe. Ladies, they know what they're doing. They don't have to wear makeup, pluck their eyebrows, shave. You don't even know what your wife looks like till you marry her. You think you're getting Kim Kardashian, the burka comes off? It's Ahmed, okay? <laughs> Smart. <laughs> when I was single, I did the whole online dating thing. That wasn't fun. My friends were like, Rosie, you're trying to be an actress, a comedian. You should find a rich Jewish producer. I was like, all right. Yeah, I joined J-Date. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a J. I I don't know if you guys can tell I'm not a J. Uh, I don't know why I couldn't find a nice Jewish producer. This was my headline on J-Date. I'm like, hey guys, everyone Allen needs a Sony, huh? <laughs> Date me or adopt me, what's up? <laughs> that was great. Then I went on Match.com. Don't do Match.com, ladies. Match.com is the MySpace of dating, right? No one's on there anymore. Everyone's on eHarmony, Facebook. I went on Match.com. I'd meet all these creepy guys with yellow fever. <laughs> Any military in here? <laughs> yeah, they were into playing these weird role-playing games. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Role-playing games, not Dungeons and Dragons, all right? Role-playing games, games like executive and secretary, right? Doctor and nurse. <laughs> Except for I was a really bad nurse because I'm not Filipino. <laughs> yeah. Some of you go to Kaiser. <laughs> this one guy, he tried to tie me up. He wanted to play Vietnam soldier and refugee. <laughs> you played that game, right? He tied me up. My brother jumped out from under the bed and stabbed him in the face, right? <laughs> Charlie and the Sheets. <laughs> But I recently went to go meet my mother-in-law back home in the Midwest, and my boyfriend and fiance is white, so I was a little bit nervous. She was a little bit racist, though I met her for the first time. She actually asked me this question. She's like, so Rosie, if you and Andrew had children, would they turn out white or would they turn out Asian? I'm like, um, they would be mixed. <laughs> Sorry, they'd be mixed. She's like, okay, okay. Um, okay, so if you and Andrew had children, would they turn out white or would they turn out Asian? I'm like, um. It would be mixed, Miss Sandy, mixed white and Asian. She's like, okay, okay. Obviously, uh, you didn't understand my question. Um, if you and Andrew had children, children, okay, would they turn out white or would they turn out Asian? I'm like, if you keep asking me these questions, they're gonna turn out black, all right? Because I will bring home <laughs> Tiger Woods Jr. just to piss you off. <laughs> what kind of question is that, 2010? I was like, all right. Well, she's fun. She's fun. <laughs> I'm excited about this, I'm excited about this. No, I do that joke because I had, I had, when I was single, I had a lot of brothers that would uh, follow me around. They liked me, I don't know why, I have no butt. I don't know if you guys can see this. That's right, brothers love me for some reason. I did a private party actually last week in the hood. This big guy came up to me, he's like, what's up baby? You in the hood now. We in the hood, you in the hood, we in the hood. I'm like, oh, we in a recession, everything's the hood now. If you looked around. <laughs> Things are ghetto everywhere, right? <laughs> I was like, anyway, this is not the hood. You want to come to the hood, come to my neighborhood. I live in the barrio, anyone else? Yeah, that's the Mexican ghetto, right? 13 Latinos in a studio apartment next to me. Juan Carlos and Jesus are running from LAPD and INS, okay? That's the hood. Selling corn for no reason, <laughs> The corn with the mayonnaise and the tapatia. <laughs> It's good, yeah, it is good, but I was like, what is this? 
Somali woman comes by every hour? <laughs> I didn't know about the Tamale woman, all right? I thought she was looking for some girl named Tamale. <laughs> tamale! Tamale! I'm like, will someone find Tamale? She's been looking for her every day. <laughs> That's the hood, Tyrone, okay? <laughs> <laughs> I love my neighborhood. They're so they're so nice out there. I am Asian though. I don't know if you guys can tell by the whole slanting eye thing. Can you guys see? Uh, I am. I'm Asian. I try really, really hard when I'm up here not to be a stereotype. I want to represent for my people, but it's hard. I'm not lying to you guys when I tell you guys my mom actually had a nail salon for 15 years. <laughs> my dad's an engineer. He's really, really good at math. <laughs> And uh, I just got into three car accidents in the past six months. What's up? Asian driver, watch out. <laughs> True story, three car accidents in the past six months. First car accident I got into, I got hit by an unlicensed 16 year old driver and her drunk dad. Yeah, that's alcoholism. He's like, honey, get your permit, get in the car, we're going to the bar. <laughs> This time they were drunk, we get to the car accident, he stumbles out of the car, first words out of his mouth, he's like, uh, does anybody have any gum? <laughs> like, you're toasted. <laughs> Second car accident I got into, I got hit by an illegal immigrant with no car insurance. Oh, the Mexicans turned on me. <laughs> no, he was illegal, this is how I knew. We get to the car accident, get out the car, I'm like, sir, maybe we should report this? Car insurance, report this? True story, him and his wife looked at each other, his wife picked up her purse and ran away. Yeah, she was like this. She looked like the sign on the way to San Diego. It's <laughs> like, come here from my car. Third accident I got into, I was driving on the 5 freeway where the 5 meets the 14 in Lancaster, California. I hit a California black bear with my Honda Civic. Aww. Yeah, that's right. I'm taking Asian driving to the next level. <laughs> All my friends are like, how could you tell if the bear was black if it was so dark outside? I'm like, that's easy. I called the LAPD. They didn't do <laughs> Thank you.